For over 2.4 billion years, glaciers have shaped our planet, constantly melting, reforming, and reshaping in response to the cycles of time. From the ancient Huronian glaciation to today, these towering ice structures have grown and retreated with the seasons and the shifting climates. Much like the iceberg that sealed the fate of the Titanic, glaciers are massive, powerful, and unpredictable. But what if this endless cycle came to an end? Can we reverse the damage before it's too late? Or are we already past the point of no return? Grab your jackets and join me as we venture into the icy world of glaciers, uncovering what might lie ahead for them on our warming planet. Glaciers have been shaping the Earth for millions of years, starting when the planet began to cool. Snow piled up in cold regions and high mountains, eventually turning into ice. Over time, this ice began to move, forming glaciers. Huge rivers of ice that slowly carved deep valleys and fjords across the land. Looking back, around 20,000 years ago, glaciers reached their largest size, covering much of the Earth during the peak of the Ice Age. They reshaped continents, leaving behind striking features like the Great Lakes and the towering mountains we see today. Eventually, about 12,000 years ago, the climate started to warm and glaciers began to melt and retreat. Despite this massive melting, some still remain, like those glacier structures found in Greenland and Antarctica. Today, glaciers cover about 10% of the planet's surface, which is roughly the size of South America. They also hold around 70% of the world's freshwater reserves, more than the freshwater in all the rivers, lakes, and groundwater combined. These icy giants also serve as water towers that effectively store water, gradually feeding into rivers, lakes, and even powers hydroelectric plants. In many mountain regions, glaciers are the primary source of fresh water for drinking and irrigation. As glaciers melt, their water nourishes fertile valleys, supporting thriving farming and fishing industries. Glacier-fed rivers provide a reliable water supply for agriculture and maintain healthy river ecosystems that sustain local fisheries. Additionally, the meltwater flows through turbines and hydroelectric plants, generating energy for entire communities. This steady water supply is crucial for both the economy and the livelihoods of those who depend on it. While glaciers have been essential to sustaining life and supporting communities for millions of years, this crucial role is now at risk. We can't just hope for glaciers to melt faster to give us more water or electricity. It's not healthy for the environment. Rapid melting causes more harm than good. Glaciers around the world, particularly in regions like the Himalayas, Andes, and polar ice caps, are melting at an alarming rate. The once solid ice is now melting faster than ice cream on a hot summer day. In the Himalayas, glaciers are retreating by an average of 50 meters per year, while glaciers in the Andes have shrunk by 30 to 50 percent over the last 50 years. The Arctic has seen a 40 percent decrease in sea ice since the 1970s, which not only impacts local ecosystems but also accelerates global warming. The primary cause of this melting is climate change, driven by human activities like burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes. These actions release gases like carbon dioxide, which trap heat in the atmosphere, raising global temperatures. Warmer temperatures mean glaciers melt faster than they can reform. Another major factor driving the rapid melting of glaciers is albedo, the ice's natural ability to reflect sunlight. When pollutants like dust and soot settle on the glacier's surface, they darken it. Soot, which comes from the burning of materials like wood, coal, and diesel, acts like a blanket that absorbs heat instead of reflecting it. This extra heat speeds up the melting process. While natural events like volcanic eruptions or ocean currents can also influence glacier melting, human-caused climate change is the main driver behind this accelerated melting. Given the unprecedented rate of glacial melting, what would happen if suddenly all the glaciers in the world melted? While this scenario is difficult to imagine, let's break it down by first considering the impact on the oceans. Glaciers and ice sheets hold about 70% of the planet's fresh water, so if they were to melt instantly, all of that water would flow straight into the sea. 
sea levels would rise by a staggering 70 meters or about 230 feet. To put this in perspective, entire coastal cities would vanish underwater in a single day. Think about cities like New York, Tokyo, and London. Each would be swallowed by the ocean, forcing millions of people to flee inland as their homes disappear. Other densely populated low-lying regions like Bangladesh, parts of the Netherlands, coastal China, and much of Southeast Asia would face similar devastation. Island nations like the Maldives and Tuvalu would vanish completely, sinking beneath the ocean waves. These areas, with limited resources and densely packed populations, would struggle to adapt or survive in the face of such rapid, overwhelming changes. But the consequences would stretch even further. As millions flee submerged coastlines, areas further inland would experience intense pressure to accommodate the massive influx of climate refugees. Cities that were once far from the ocean would now sit on the coastline, facing their own risks of flooding and environmental changes. This scenario might feel extreme and far from happening, but even gradual glacial melting threatens vulnerable places. Rising seas, unpredictable weather, and changes in river flows already put pressure on the vulnerable regions. Even at a gradual rate, melting of glaciers would cause an environmental global crisis. Major rivers and freshwater sources, which millions of people rely on for drinking water, farming, and hydropower, are already showing signs of stress. In regions like the Himalayas, Andes, and the Arctic, glaciers are retreating rapidly, causing water supplies that once seemed reliable to dwindle. Farmers face unpredictable water availability, and cities depending on glacial-fed rivers are experiencing shortages. Without the glaciers to maintain a steady flow, entire communities are at risk of losing their vital water sources. The environmental impact of glacial melting goes far beyond water shortages. Glaciers play a crucial role in stabilizing Earth's temperature by reflecting sunlight back into space. As they melt, darker land and ocean surfaces are exposed, which absorb more heat, accelerating global warming. This shift in temperature leads to more extreme weather events, stronger hurricanes, more intense droughts, and increasingly destructive wildfires. As the planet warms, ecosystems that depend on cooler temperatures, especially in polar regions, face collapse, endangering numerous species. Polar bears, for example, with two-thirds of the world's population at risk, are losing their sea ice habitat. Penguins and salmon are also suffering, as the loss of ice shelves disrupts breeding grounds and rising water temperatures threaten their survival. The urgent need for climate action is clear. To slow the rapid melting of glaciers, we must reduce carbon emissions, the main drivers of global warming. This requires a shift to clean, renewable energy sources like wind and solar, and cutting back on fossil fuel use. Every effort counts, whether it's through policy changes, corporate responsibility, or individual actions. Around the world, large-scale conservation projects, such as reforestation and sustainable agriculture, are already underway, and individuals can also contribute by adopting energy-efficient lifestyles and supporting sustainable practices. Small actions like using public transport or reducing energy consumption add up to make a significant difference in protecting glaciers and their ecosystems. While the challenge is immense, there is still hope. If we act now, we have the potential to protect glaciers, safeguard water sources, and preserve ecosystems for future generations. If you're worried about the future of our glaciers and the global impact of their melting, share this video, spread the word, and take small steps in your daily life. Thanks for tuning in to our journey through the past. If you enjoyed exploring history with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. What historical events do you want us to dive into next? Keep exploring and catch us next time for more eventful insights.